Good morning. I decided to come down to the beach for a few hours this morning anyway. Been a little under the weather the last couple of days, but I gotta get out. I can't let it hold me down. Uh, just looking at the steps, check it out when you come down to the beach right here. Look how much the sand has complete. This the steps go way down here, it's completely filled them in. So you can see the sand is blowing in here pretty good, covering things up. But uh, you never know. Uh, we'll have to still give it a shot a little bit. Um, just a quick update uh, my boat, when I let the uh, boat off the other day, one of the runners on it completely fell off. So it was, had to do some repair work yesterday on my trailer, but it got it done. The boat's ready to go out. It's ready. So maybe Friday we'll head out to in the water potentially. Uh, gold pan. Not sure. Got to kind of question one or the other. But we'll take you out here one or the other for sure. Cause it's about 80 degrees Friday. Today it's a little bit cooler, and there's hardly nobody on the beach today. Um, it's just it's just too cool for them, I guess. But uh, we're gonna check it out. Looks like the grader's been over there too. Look. Uh, green things down. I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. All right, stay tuned. Here we go. All right, this one sounds about 25, 24, 25. That could be a dime. I believe it's a dime. Let me use this old cheap shovel I got wrong with it. I tell you. Uh, something hard down here. I don't know what it is. Some rocks or something. Uh, there it is. It's a dime. I see it. I picked that one out right. Look at that. It's a dime. Gotta learn them numbers, I tell you. I got trying to slowly figure this thing out. Definitely not the prettiest of days today. What you can tell by the people on the beach, no depositors today. I mean, very, very few. And the weather does not look that great. I think it's going to clear up in the next day or two. But got just a little bit of wind down here today too. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Enough to make it uncomfortable. But we're going to keep looking and see all the chairs and the equipment they got set up for the beach. They're getting ready for the summer. For the onslaught of people, they're getting ready for sure. But we're going to try to check, check out the beach here just a little bit today. Hoping maybe we find some gold. Some gold or diamonds. Man. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we got a decent hit down here in the surf. 25. That's probably not a ring, but probably most likely a uh, dime. Where I'm guessing. So we have a little bit of disadvantage today because I don't have a scoop. So we're having to kind of fight through that. We can make it. Oh, we got it out already. It's out. I see it now. Yeah, it's right in here. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see something right there. It's a dime. Yep, that's where I thought it was. Learning them numbers. Alright, let's keep getting down. It's a dime day. Third dime of the day right there. In just a few minutes, so. Anyway, we'll take dimes all day long. Especially if you get about a thousand of them. All right, let's keep getting up. The old nickel fooled me that time. I thought for sure I had some good that time. Those nickels will fool you every time. Just like a gold number right there. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's keep bagging moving on. All right, we're still digging right many coins. I just went up in denomination to a quarter, though. I like that. Getting ready to hit a Dairy Queen. Got to have enough money to buy us a milkshake, I think. All right, let's keep getting up. Maybe we'll get enough to get a drink. Alright, just kick this out the whole a quarter down there, but look at this, it's coming up at a 20. Normally quarters come up close to 30. That's kind of strange, I don't know, it must be my setting or something. Anybody understand why it's doing that to me? I think normally it's definitely a, uh, is that, that is a quarter, isn't it? That's a, some other coin or something, I'll have to clean it up when you're home, but that should be a lot higher than that. Alright, let's bag it and we'll look at it when we get home. I love these signals like this. That's a 50, a solid 15. You know, coin, uh, pennies start like 18 from how crude they are, 18 to 20. And then a dime's 24. And you're normally quarters up to 30, but anything like that is a potential goal. Because it's off the scale, it's not in one of the known ranges. But gold can be down as low as one if it's a small earring or something too. So 
Oh man, I think I see it. Whatever it is. What is it? That might be something. Whoa! Look at this! Oh my god, look at that! That's a big old chain and cross. I knew it would be something better than that. That could be gold. If it was silver, it would run up a lot higher. That's pretty cool there, man. Look at that. That's awesome. I thought that might be something. I don't know what it is. It says something there. I can't read it, dude. Pretty sweet, though. Look at that. I like it. All right, let's bag it up and keep moving. I like it. All right, I just put my glasses on so I can read it. Check it out. 925. That is sterling silver. That is beautiful, man. Best find of the day so far. I love that. Man. Biggest piece of sterling silver I've ever found. Never found that much sterling silver at one time. Pretty heavy. Awesome. All right, let's put it in the bag and keep moving. All right, this is my normal quarter range target. 28, 29, 30. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, it's rough working with the shovel today, man. I'm a little, a little bit uh, handicapped here with this thing. Oh, man. It's kind of a wide range in here, dude. It seems like it's not pinpointing very well right now. Wow. What? Ah. Keep trying to find it. It's up down here too. That is easy. Multiple coins in here, I think. There it is, I see it. It's a dime on that one. Right there. Yeah, that's a dime, but I still got one over here. Whoop, dropped it again already, I think. Okay, let's keep looking. I still got some over here, I think it's a quarter. I think I might have missed it over here. I don't know how I could have done that. Maybe another coin gave me a little bit of false reading, I think. Multiple coins in here. Alright, it's out now. Getting that, still getting that high reach too, so. That should be a quarter. There it is. What is it doing? I don't know. Is that it? Might be. No, that's not it. There it is. That's a quarter. I knew it was. Yep. Yep. Alright, I'm seeing a little something else interesting in this sand. Whoa, hell it go. Don't go. Don't go nowhere. Oh, man. I get before I lose it. What it is? Definitely off of some kind of necklace or something. But uh, don't know what it is yet. We have to test it. We might see some copper coming through. If it is, it's gonna be uh, junk jewelry. But we'll check it out. I got actually got two targets side by side here. You notice that's a 22, 21, 22, 23. But over here, 11. I'm going after the 11. I think that could be something good. Better than the... I know what the other one is. It's probably a dime or a, or a penny. Ah, right, she's still in the hole. I, have, I don't want to get too wet here, dude. The tide's coming in. Ah! Alright, it's out. Whatever it is, it's out. Ah, 
Oh man, I think I see something, but I don't think I see what I like. I gotta see, like what I see. Well, maybe I do. It's a ring, it looks like. It does look like some kind of ring. Probably junk ring, but uh, it is a ring. Cool. Alright, I'll pack that and move on. I like that. I figured that was something different. The other one's probably a dime. This, I don't know how it got bent up so bad here in the water. Alright, let's bag it and move on. Alright, I got a couple beach walkers here. <laughs> checking, out my, checking out my targets. They want to see what I found. I showed them what I found. And they're looking at this one ring I found. And you know my eyes aren't that great. But they're saying it says 14K. Now that does, normally gold does not tarnish like that. But they swear it says 14K on it. So we're going to have to check that out when we get back, for sure. Magnifying glass but, uh, tell you. <laughs> normally gold doesn't turn like that, though. I don't know. You sure? I see 14K. She says but... she sees 14K. Maybe it's GP gold plated and it's gone or something. Maybe. But anyway, we'll check it out when we get back. Yep. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hit the real treasure here. I had to get me some energy. Get me a milkshake. I got to get some energy to get all the way back. Got about 10 blocks to go. All right, let's just sit down and take a quick break and we'll head back out. All right, we are still digging coins. Uh, it's a little rough out there today. Let's check it out. And look at this. I just had a 2930. I knew that was going to be a quarter. I still got that one coin that wasn't 29, but it looked like a quarter. I got to check that one, see what it is. Maybe it wasn't a quarter. All right, here comes the way. Don't take the detector away. Whoa, don't take it away. <laughs> all right, glad it's all waterproof. That's all I know. All right, let's bag that up and keep moving. Here we go. All right, we got something right here. It's not a quarter. Ah, I think I know what that is. That is a funeral home tag, cremation tag. Uh, SB funeral home, I'm sure, 1376. I found a few of these before, but that's what that is right there. People come in here and dump the loved ones' ashes down here sometime. And, uh, and then they have these tags in the bag. People don't realize the bag tags in sometimes. Alright, we're gonna toss that bag. We're not gonna keep that on. Alright, I think we're gonna call that a wrap. Man, we had an awesome day at the beach today. Gold, at least I think it's gold. We're gonna check when we get home. And silver! But anyway, we gotta test it out when we get home, make sure. But uh, it wasn't the prettiest day out here, but it's still pretty out here. All right, let's get our stuff packed up and get home and check it out. Man, we killed it today on the beach. Had an awesome day today. The biggest sterling silver I've ever found. And maybe gold. We're going to check it out in a second. Let's check out what we got. Man, we wore out the coins today. There's a lot of targets on the beach. Look at that. We got probably close to $4 in coins, all quarters, dimes, nickel, all them nickels too. You know how they sound. Sound just like gold. I'm you, every time I got one, I thought it'd get me a ring. Pennies, junk. This is junk jewelry. I think I haven't tested yet, but I'm probably pretty sure it is. This is what we're thinking. It's got 14 k Now, if you saw my video, the girls got come up there and looked at. I'll show them what I found. They said that's got 14 k on it. But I have never found a gold ring that didn't look like gold with a tarnish on it like that. So we're gonna test that in just a minute and see. I haven't looked at this one either. But I think that might not be real. Now, y'all remember in the video, I had one quarter. I said, that doesn't ring up like a quarter. Look at this. This is from Romania. That's a, some, uh, a 25 cent from Romania. So that's why it wasn't ringing up on my uh, Equinox like I thought it should be ringing up. Uh, it was one of these two. This one is from the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. So one of these two was one of the ones that was ringing up kind of kind of funny on my detector why it wasn't ringing up like a normal quarter would up there. Look at this thing here. This is beautiful here. Look at that. That's got 925 written all over on the back there. I'll try to show a picture of that. Uh, the the, the uh, connectors here got 925 India written all over them. That is a beautiful piece right there. That's pretty awesome. I can't believe I found a whole thing like that. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This right here I got over here is a mandrel. And I am going to put this ring on here and I am going to see if I can straighten it a little bit before I test it. All right, hold on just a second. All right, this is what you use to straighten gold with. This is it. You got a rubber mallet and a little plastic one so you don't bend anything up. This is, I'm going to use the rubber side here just for the heck of it. But normally what you would do is just kind of slowly work it down here until it straightens up here. See, this thing is slowly getting rounder all the time. Find out where it's sticking out at here. A 
getting yeah, we're getting there. We're getting the plastics out here. A little harder here to straighten it out a little bit. It was definitely been all up. I don't know why it was been up so much, but uh, it certainly got been up in the water. It's different if it's in a field, you know, the, the plow hits it, but in the ocean, you wouldn't think it'd get been up that bad, but it did. So anyway, we're gonna get it halfway straight, and then I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna do a little test on it here in just a second. Let's see if we can't get it finished up here halfway straight. All right, let's see what it looks like. Here. Looks a little better. All right, now the now the true test. Let me get back in and do a little testing on it. All right, here we go. I'll be back in a second and let you know. All right, first thing I did, I went back in to see if it would hold up to a buffet. Look at that. It held up nicely to the buffet. Buff right out. I didn't finish it all the way up, but you can see it. It's got 14K right in the middle. Is it gold? Yes, it is gold! I tested it. I'll show you how I test it right now. What you do, and let me get down here and I'll show you, is you take take it and you scratch it like this. So you get a good, good color off the ring. And to test gold, what you do is you get acids. And certain acids will eat through certain carrots. Like this is 10K. If it was less than, uh, than 10K, it would eat right through it. As you can see, that's holding. It's not eating through it. Now, this right here is 18K. So what would happen if this was uh, less than 18K, it would eat through it. And this is, it says 14K, so it should eat right through this. Watch it. Boom! Ate right through it. Not a problem. Now, this is 14K, and it should hold this for a while. Uh, it would eventually eat it, but it should hold up if it's 14K. And it is. You still see through it, see it? See how the 18K ate right through it instantly? And it's still holding up under the 14K, and the 10K is holding up no problem. So guess what, fellas? We found gold and silver today. Is that awesome or what, man? I'm really stoked about that. Uh, appreciate everybody checking out the, uh, the video here. And, uh, man, I'm awesome. It's awesome, man. All right, well, let's get, might get back out there tomorrow and see what we can find. Because uh, there's, some, there's some good, heavy targets uh, showing up. Don't forget to click like, share, and comment below. All right, thanks for coming along.